What's up, guys? It's Brandon Joshua here. I'm about to go mess with the cat for me. Watch this. <gasps> Penny! Here. Penny! Batman, Reese, Batman, what the hell, Reese? Like the funny boy. Oh, you want to give me a little bit of me? So you always let her smell my hand first. That's like my way of showing her respect. See, letting her smell my hand. Hey. Batman, you just bring me, 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 oh yeah, see? Oh yes, Batman, what are you doing? Batman, this is the ovens too. They get jealous, you see him jumping off that over there. Yep. And you're pretty boy. Oh no, Rizzy. Oh no, Rizzy. Oh yes. Yeah, she's going crazy. She wants. She's missing you, Dad. I mean, my father's today. My earth father. He takes care of me. He watches out for me. He's a good man. Oh, this is Vinny boy. Look at Vinny boy. Oh, yes, Vinny boy. No, no. No, no. We don't listen to this TV, no, no. It's not mine. Old. But we're gonna put on the radio the Christy music. It's the only thing it's good for. Alright, hey, I got your uh, your stuff on the counter. <laughs> we're on the table for you. The only thing I put this on the Christian music right here, and then see what we got playing today, guys. Cause I'm about to go out in the garage and make some videos for us today. So we can put some positivity and spread some light in the world. Cause it's a dark world and we gotta spread some light. We got the big boy running across out there. Major! Get out the road, Major! See that? How to get him. <laughs> How to save his life. He heard me call him, see that? Anyways, do that little, do that little, that little hiss noise, and they know that's how I train them to like know to like be careful or to like if they're getting themselves in trouble, like doing something they're not supposed to be doing, like scratching up the couches, and you do that noise, they stop. Or like a truck's driving by, and I did it to get his attention to like let them know there's danger coming. It's cool, man, to learn how to connect with your animals. Christian music. It's the only thing this thing's good for. So the old TV, I sold it to my father. Like six years ago, five or six years ago, when I quit watching TV, I sold it to my father. And he, uh, when I lived, I had my house. I was living at my house like five minutes from here. Uh, I lived there six years. But like I said, I sold everything, guys, to work for God 100%. My company, make, like I said, making 33 grand a month, 19 grand minimum. And then, of course, I got myself in some, like, uh, like I said, I got a whole testimony we'll put out, man. But like I said, man, I'm, 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 the, I'm the, the real deal, man. I've been sober from all hard drugs for two years, working on the fit two years, five months, because May is the fifth month. Because, like, I, I like, uh, so it's two years, five months from all hard drugs, sober, sobriety, and pre, uh, uh, helping others to get off of the stuff, the ones that want to the help. Because you can't help anybody that doesn't want to help themselves. They, everybody has to want to take the step and help themselves first before anyone can help you. You got to want to help yourself. That's just step number one. That's rule number one in life. Everybody, everybody knows that, man. You got to be able to help yourself first before anybody can help you. You can't expect others to help you when you can't even help you. Like you have, I don't understand. It gets tough to where it feels like you can't help you, but you can by saying, "I need help. This is the drug I do, or this is what I have a problem with." It might not even be drugs. You might eat, you might drink alcohol, you might drink too many Dr. Peppers like me. <laughs> I drink a whole two liter of Dr. Pepper a day, sometimes two of them. I know that ain't a lot to some, but it is. Like that stuff calls diabetes, all kind of bad stuff. I don't have very many bad habits, you know what I mean? So like Dr. Pepper, you know what I mean? I, I make jokes about it. But yeah, you can do anything. It's all a mind thing, uh, really. And also like with opiates, it physically does really make you sick. I understand, I lived that life. Um, so it's really hard, but you can do it and it's possible. I've done it. Uh, 
And I have a whole big story, and I want to help people, man. I want to give y'all confidence because you know why? You know why I'm doing this besides it's my fate. I'm fated for this because, like, yes, my, my, my father took care of me. He's taking, he's helping me out now. He's, he's a big help in my life. And so is, like, my mother. And then I have, like, uh, my brothers, blood brothers. Like, everybody, like, they support me in what I do, even though we bump heads sometimes. Like, not me and my mom, but me and my father and my brothers. But they get it. They know. They see what's going on in the world, and they're, they look out, man. We all help each other out, and it's a good thing. That's how families are supposed to be. And um, it's just a really good thing, you know, to uh, just don't let the devil trick you up and become Luke tw chapter 21. Read Luke 21, the whole chapter. It's amazing. It's tough. It's going to let you know what per persecution's about. And you're going to get persecution from your own family and all kind of things. But as long as you remain steadfast and strong, don't argue with them. Just show them love. They don't understand, man. I, I realize that. I was trying to be the teacher and then expecting them to also be a teacher. Like, I'm here I am teaching them, and then I'd get frustrated when they didn't understand something. But it's like, God reminded me, it's like, man, you're the, you're the teacher for them. How You can't be the teacher and then get frustrated when they don't, when they can't remember something or they should, or they haven't studied anything on their own to further learn. Like, if I gave them only half of something and said, hey, go, go look up the rest of this on your own time, because I need y'all to commit to doing this for you so I can see that you're for real about your souls and you're for real about being in this flock or whatever and you're going to walk with us for real. We, like, we're going to weed out the weeds now. We don't have time to be doing this when stuff happens. So, you know, you ask somebody to read, finish reading something like Luke chapter 21. I might go and read like say half of it for you guys. My favorite's 12 through 19 out of that because it's like tough. But and once you can conquer that, you can conquer, like, knowing you at when a time comes when you can, like, I've detached from the entire world for three years, but when time comes, I have to walk, and my family knows they can walk with me as an equal, or they can stay, but either way, I would have to walk and do what I have to do for me, and that's when you know you've enlightened, man, you've graduated. Uh, I turned, I just turned 34 on May 6th, Wednesday, two days ago, and uh, it's amazing, guys, and... God just does a lot of stuff, man. You have to understand this whole world. The, we were created with the earth itself, all creation, all living creation and life. And mankind acting evil and wicked right now affects the earth. Man, Y'all don't realize we're electromagnetic beings. Our frequencies, all of our stuff. This is all science, people. You can look this up. This is proven. Like our, our bodies and the way we are as a whole, like a mass consciousness, we affect the earth with our energies and stuff and plants and everything. Why do you think the animals are going crazy? Why do you think everything's dying, all the earthquakes and volcanoes? We can cause that stuff when the earth gets mad or when the earth gets order, it gets all crazy because of our, us being evil, just like the earth the first time became so evil when Noah was building the ark. And you know, Noah built that ark for that ark for 120 years. And the entire world of, say, sinners, non-believers, were persecuting him, giving him hell, literally, while he was building it. I'm sure he got told he was a crazy guy and all these things when he's telling people the world's going to end by a giant uh, flood and it's going to wipe out all of the world. Like, imagine somebody saying that right now. Like, hey, there's going to be another flood and everything's going to be wiped out a second time. Nobody would believe it, you know? Well, there's a situation with... Uh, well, that's kind of like what happened when I was telling my family a year ago about this corona thing coming and how they were going to shut down everything. And I literally told, like, my family six months ago, most of them, but, like, a, a year ago, I was already telling them like this, and I kept studying and God leading me and strengthening me. And then six months ago, I fully told them everything that happened. Like, right before it got, they called the shutdown, like, I was already telling them, like, hey, this all this is going to happen. So it's how it is. It's how God works in us, man. It's all glory to God. God give me revelation on that stuff because I chose to seek him. It's all glory to God. God is allowing me to open myself up and tap into what I ran from. And it's amazing. And I know this is my destiny and that's why I'm doing it. And it is what it is. I'm a part of the system. I'm a part of the system and part of this game of life of good versus evil. And I'm on the light side and I'm a 1% royal bloodline, just like the queen over in UK and the people on your TV and all that, Genesis 6-4. I know we have some fallen running things, and I 
have a strong idea we have something else out there as well that I don't know what it is. So, uh, anyway, Brandon Joshua, guys, I'm going to go get my stuff together. Two days ago, the Lord put on my heart to do some more stuff for the youth because my calling is actually to work with, I mean, I work with all ages and travel the world and, and everything, talk to all ages and adults and everything, but my calling is actually like high school ages and college ages. I love to minister and even just do motivational speaking. Uh, and I don't even really, sometimes I just say like what God did for me, but I don't, sometimes I just do motivational speaking too to get in with people. So that way I don't discourage anybody that Satan's got a wall. As soon as they hear something re about God, they throw this trigger. They throw it's like a trigger word. They trigger word. They program you to put walls up so then you don't hear anything else I say. And you don't even realize that I'm not going to say anything you probably thought I was going to say. Because, you know, ever since you'll find with real men of God, I noticed like the global witness guy, and there's a bunch of us, we all say. Uh, there, and just like that Marcus Rogers guy I did a video for, he's an amazing prophet. And I just found out he's in Virginia. Guys, you need to get a hold of this guy and, and let him, me and him need to meet up. God told me I have to meet up with him. Uh, and he need, we need to talk about something. I don't know. It's a God thing. I just know it is. It's kind of a, it's a God thing for us both to be able to see. We're both prophets of God. I have the angelic blood. So I'm a true son of God, an uh, angelic white horse rider warrior. A son of God with angelic blood. I don't know if he has the blood I have, but if he doesn't, then he's in. I can see everything he sees, like how he's at, like on a prophet level. I have the same prophet abilities where I see everything he's talking about, but I also have pretty much every ability because that's what our blood allows and has. But we also have to train ourselves and open us up to this. We just don't. We have it, but we don't just get it right away. You gotta like. You gotta build up to it. You gotta learn. You gotta read scripture. You got to give it to you as you become ready. And if like he doesn't have the blood and he's his blood, like my blood's above the firmament, the origins, mine is above the firmament. If his is below it, then he's, that's, that proves right there what you guys can do is the mankind blood. You know, the A, B, and the C, or whatever it is. The A, B, the A blood types, the B types. There's all kind of different human blood types. But that proves it right there. When you have Christ in you and you accept Christ into your body, which is your temple, you can do all things with God in you. The God in you, Christ, Yahushua, Emmanuel, God with us, God in us. He's going to make you, if you're weak, you're going to become strong. At your weakest, you're your strongest. If you get saved today and you repent of all your sins and you mean it, like whatever you're dealing with and you mean it, then God's going to use that as a testimony. All the people that go through the hardest things in life and the more like messed up you are when you get saved, the greater your testimony becomes when you switch to the light side. For all the hell you went through and survived and all the bad you've done, you take that bad and now you repent and you're cleansed and you're a new creature. You're no longer binded by any of that. God saves you from it. And then your, your sins are washed away. You're a new creature. And then therefore, God... You, you can use that as a testimony to tell people what you lived through and the hell you lived through and beat by the grace of God. You did it with your own will, your own power, right? You, you, you had to take the initiative. God isn't just going to do things for us unless he sees we want to live, we want to try. Just like anything else, you think the football coach is going to put you in the game if you're always sitting on the bench and always over there complaining, not wanting to do your, you know what I mean? You're just over there always by yourself, a bad attitude. You're never doing exercises. You're always complaining and you're not, you're always sitting down on the bench. You're never a part of the group or team. You think the football coach is going to like you or want to put you in the game or start, you know, you have to be a part of the, the team. You got to be there right there with the guys interlocking arms, letting them know you're a part of that team. You're a brother. You're a warrior to the end with that team. And you're right there the whole time. If they're, if they're yelling, jumping around out there on the sidelines, you're right there with them or standing close by. You know what I mean? You're not going to be sitting over there on the bench by yourself, just like with drugs or depression or walking with God. you got to initially take the initiative. That way God sees that and God, God will come to you and help you. For we are made in his image. We are all his children. That's why these rich guys, they tell us to work our lives away to get money so you can buy you a house in the country, settle down, get away from the world, have your wife and kids, settle down with like 10, 20 acres of land, you know, relax, right? Get off the grid type thing, enjoy life, travel around, see new places, meet new people. Well, tell me, answer this. Don't y'all find it weird? This tells you why they're un unhuman. 
Not only did they declare war on us, they declared war on COVID, which is your exosomes in your body, your blood. So we all will test positive for it because it's our exosomes. So when they declared war on COVID, they declared war on us, mankind, humanity. Humanity is not a virus. We have 380 trillion viruses in our body designed to eliminate cell toxins that build up in us. That's why you wake up sick. You have cell toxins built up in a specific part of your body. Your body then will take one out of 380 trillion viruses and select that to form a, a virus to heal you. You can't die from a virus. It's the natural way of the body healing. Um, so yeah, you heal. I was going to say one more thing and I, I might have forgot uh, because it was really good too. But anyway, that's that people. You just have to give it all to God, man, and realize the light defeats all darkness. Uh, and like I said, when you give it to him, you become a new creature and all you can use your testimony and everything you've been through to be that much more powerful for God. Uh, it's amazing guys. I've lived that life. I, I'm more than welcome to talk to anybody and I'm working on my autobiography and actually trying to write like two or three different books right now on different things. So that's why I haven't put my full autobiography out yet because I'm actually still atomizing everything. Like I lived a hundred year old life in 34 years as of Wednesday already. I have a huge testimony and it's going to help a lot of people because I've, I've lived in a lot of different areas. You know, I started out playing soccer in my early days, being a gully with legally blind, I can't see out the center of my retina is scarred from a fallen angel that scarred my retina. Okay, and I only see peripheral. Uh, that I've been like that since I was three years old. A big old black, long black trench coat, big old black hat, uh, spurs on the back of his boots, had big green eyes with a slit pupil down the middle. Uh, like a, what they would call would be like a, a reptilian type person, but I just think it was a fallen angel or some kind of shapeshifter. But it was definitely a fallen, definitely a fallen angel. It was, an, it, it was not of this, of this realm. Okay, it was definitely a spirit of some sort, and it was. I don't know if it, I can't say for sure if it was bad or not that one, but I'm mm, pretty sure. Or I don't know though, because I was younger, and I'm pretty sure that's the one that got me. Because after that, I got really, really, really hot in my body, and I still remember my father would have to take pillows and stick. It was in the winter. And he would have to stick pillows between the, the the wood door and this the screen door to get the pillows like ice cold. And I would have to lay there in my underwear as like a little boy, like I don't know, I was little. And they would have to put the, the stuff on my body to cool me down. I was so hot. My body was reacting to it literally put a bug in my eye, dude. They put like a parasite in my eye, like some kind of try to mark me, dude. And like <laughs> it's insane. I got a huge story, guys. And uh but that's that. Uh just never give up, man. You can do this and message me. And I'll talk to anybody. I'll help you. We got this, man. That's why I'm talking. That's why I'm, I'm here for you guys. And I accepted my role. And uh, we're going to make it happen, man. It is what it is. If the sooner you realize this is a real life game of good versus evil. And you realize they're fighting again. And then you realize, like, you got to pick a side, either good or evil. Your life's going to become better, man. If you pick evil, Satan only leads to death. Just understand that. No matter how many good things he gives you in life, rather, he gives you nice material things and gives you the world. People that have the world to have money, like these music artists, they all are sad and depressed. I had that money, and I was sad and depressed. I had that void. Because it's God, man. you got to have God in your life. I'm not saying you ain't got to go be a minister and all that, but you can be... Uh, have a God in your life and you can everywhere you go you just be positive loving and nice what I was saying I think was what I'm trying to remember um, actually I don't know <laughs> uh, I don't know I'm gonna get off here man just let your light shine in this dark world everywhere you go let your light shine uh, never be fearful never grow weary it's actually a verse I can't think of off the top of my head but it never grow weary of doing good deeds and uh, let me go and uh, I got allergies, man. My allergies are bothering me. I need to go wash my face and wash my eyes. I, I made a mistake of touching my eyes with these cats. My eyes are starting to swell up and stuff. I see it. But anyways, Brandon Josh, Joshua in Virginia. Uh, I'll be making a bunch of videos today. Uh, it's May 8th, Friday. Blessings. Bye-bye.